Hello everyone, my name is Caleb from IThinkBiblically.com and in this video we are going to look at Muhammad's false end times prophecies. Now I'm going to read to you a number of hadiths and it's going to sound repetitive but there's a very good reason why I'm going to give you so many hadiths. These days Muslims have actually started denying their hadiths because of the embarrassing facts that they reveal about Muhammad. And so they've started arguing that isolated reports within the hadith collections, even the Sahih hadith collections, can be critiqued and rejected, but they cannot reject all of them. And so they say if there is mass transmission of a particular hadith, then that hadith has to be accepted. But if there is isolated reports, then they can be rejected. So I'm going to give you a whole bunch of hadiths with the same false prophecy so that there can be absolutely no doubt that Muhammad was a false prophet. Sunan Abu Dawud, Hadith 4296. The Prophet said, the time between the Great War and the conquest of the city of Constantinople will be six years, and the Antichrist will come forth in the seventh. This Hadith makes it very clear that according to Muhammad, Within one year, within a period of one year from the conquest of Constantinople, the great Roman city of Constantinople, the Antichrist would come forth within one year. But here's the problem. The city of Constantinople was conquered by the Muslims in 1453. That's almost 600 years ago. But let me read to you more hadiths which say the same thing. Sunan Abu Dawud, Hadith 4295. The Prophet said, The greatest war, the conquest of Constantinople, and the coming forth of the Antichrist, will take place within a period of seven months. That means seven months from the conquest of Constantinople, that's still within that one year period, the Antichrist would come forth. That is two hadiths both saying the same thing, clearly revealing that Muhammad was a false prophet. But let me read to you another hadith. Sahih Muslim, Hadith 2920. You have heard about a city, one side of which is on land, and the other side is in the sea, Constantinople. They said, Allah's Messenger, yes. Thereupon he said, the last hour would not come unless 70,000 persons from the Bini Asak would attack it. When they would land there, they would neither fight with weapons, nor would shower arrows, but would only say, there is no God but Allah, and Allah is the greatest, and one side of it would fall. Then they would say for a second time, there is no God but Allah, and Allah is the greatest, and the second side would also fall. And they would say, there is no God but Allah, and Allah is the greatest, and the gates would be open for them, and they would enter therein, and they would be collecting spoils of war and distributing them among themselves when the noise would be heard saying, truly, the Antichrist has come, and thus they would leave everything and go back. So here we see a very clear hadith confirming the other hadiths, saying that the Antichrist would come forth when the city of Constantinople was conquered by the Muslims. But what's interesting is that this hadith adds another point and it claims that the walls of Constantinople would come down simply by proclaiming that Allah is the greatest. But here's the problem. That is not how the city walls of Constantinople came down. The city walls of Constantinople came down because of cannon fire. That's why they came down. So this is another clear hadith where Muhammad is revealed to be a false prophet. But there's another hadith, and this is even more fascinating because in this hadith, Jesus was supposed to have returned at the conquest of Constantinople. Let me read this one to you. Sahih Muslim, hadith 2897. The last hour would not come until the Romans would land in Syria an army consisting of the best soldiers of the people of the earth at that time will come from Medina to counteract them. When they will arrange themselves in ranks, the Romans would say, Do not stand between us and those Muslims who took prisoners from amongst us. Let us fight with them. 
And the Muslims would say, Nay, by Allah, we would never get aside from you and from our brethren that you may fight them. They will then fight and a third part of the army would run away, whom Allah will never forgive. And a third part of the army, which would be constituted of excellent martyrs in Allah's eyes, would be killed. And a third, who would never be put to trial, would win. And they would be conquerors of Constantinople. And as they would be busy in distributing the spoils of war amongst themselves, after hanging their swords by the olive trees, the Satan would cry, the Antichrist has taken your place among your family. They would then come out, but it would be of no avail. And when they would come to Syria, he would come out while they would still be preparing themselves for battle, drawing up the ranks. Certainly the time of prayer shall come, and then Jesus, peace be upon him, son of Mary, would descend and lead them. When the enemy of Allah would see him, it would disappear, just as salt dissolves itself in water, and if he, Jesus, were not to confront them all, even then it would dissolve completely. But Allah would kill them by his hand, and he would show them their blood on his lance, the lance of Jesus Christ. So here, another hadith clearly saying that the Antichrist would come when the city of Constantinople was conquered. But even after the Antichrist, Jesus was supposed to have come, but he never came. The Antichrist never came. The wars did not come down by shouting, Allah is the greatest. None of this happened. And all of this was supposed to have taken place over 600 years ago. Clearly, Muhammad is a false prophet. Now, some Muslims try to argue that this is a future event which is still yet to be fulfilled. But here's the problem. First of all, the Muslims already occupy the city of Constantinople. Secondly, the Romans no longer exist. The Roman Empire fell and ended at the conquest of Constantinople. Third, the city walls no longer surround the ancient city of Constantinople. The city has outgrown the walls. Furthermore, there is no longer water on one side of the city. The city has outgrown that barrier as well. And another reason why it is a false prophecy that cannot be fulfilled in the future is because people no longer fight with swords or with bows and arrows anymore. Clearly, this is a prophecy that was supposed to have been fulfilled at the conquest of Constantinople in 1453, yet it never happened. Therefore, unequivocally, Muhammad is a false prophet.